think my biggest question is, did you even remember I made videos? It's, it's been a very, very, very long time. Uh, like six months since my last video. Uh, the reason for that is, and I can make a video if, if you guys um, really want to know all the details, uh, but I did have a, okay, a fairly serious surgery back in February. Um, pretty much everything leading up to that and everything since then has been kind of either all about preparing for surgery or recovering from said surgery. So I am at least somewhat back. I'm, I'm hoping to start making more content a little bit more consistently. Um, uh, fingers crossed on that one. Uh, but today I have um, another mic review for you. Before I get into anything, uh, I do want to send a shout out out to, I, I believe they said it's pronounced fine, fine. Uh, I want to send a shout out to them. They did send me this mic over for review. Uh, they've actually been incredibly awesome uh, about this this process too. They knew about my surgery. I, they they had reached out, asked if I wanted to review their mic. Uh, I let them know that you know, of course, I want to, but you know, it's it's not really a good time. I'm I'm preparing for the surgery and and whatnot. And uh, they reached back out and said, "That's you know, I you know, I I wish you the best. I hope you." Everything turns out okay. Uh, let us know when you are ready to start making videos again, and we will send the mic out to you. And I reached out uh, a couple weeks ago, and they sent it out to me. So I, I have to give them even more of a shout out. Um, not even so much for sending over the mic and reaching out to ask if I wanted to review the mic, but just being so freaking cool about you know that I had something going on and they they still sent out the the mic. I do I do want to say thank you very very much to everybody out at Fine Fine and 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 all that. You guys have been awesome. So, thank you. Let's switch to the top down camera which you should be seeing now. Hopefully if I did everything right. It's the Fine Fine, what was it? It was like the K 651 or something like that. I will have the link to this mic in the video description, so check that out. In the box you have uh, the mic, a dynamic mic, uh, USB-A to USB-C cable, it looks like a long one too, uh, a little over eight feet, a shock mount, another USB cable, a boom arm with a screw adapter, it says, and a desk clamp. So what they're really trying to market this as is, is uh, you know, if you're podcasting, I think more so along the lines if you're uh, a streamer, a gaming streamer or anything like that, this would be good. Um, as you see on the box, there is RGB lights on that. That's what one of the USB cables is for. The other USB cable is for power. Variable RGB lighting, sensitive quick tap mute. That is one thing that I want to see a little bit more of on these mics is, is a quick tap mute function, not something that you actually have to uh, press a button. So let's get into the box. I did cut the tape off earlier, but this is literally the first time I'm opening the box. Uh, right here you have a user's guide. That'll tell you how to set everything up. It looks like there is uh, possibly some... No, it's just telling you how to set the settings in the software. Oh, here we go. Uh, model number is the K51. So it's a, uh, the Fine Fine K5 K651. Uh, there's that. Uh, let's just go from here. In this box, you have your shock mount. Uh, right there is your shock mount. It even tells you what side is up, which is fantastic. Uh, so we'll get the shock mount out of the way. In this box, we have... The microphone. Let's play with this guy for a second. Come on out. Come on. There we go. Uh, just looking at the mic real quick, it, it seems to be a decent quality. This part is some sort of metal, uh, aluminum of some sort. I would assume a uh, little smiley face guy right here, some branding, and that's about it. Looks like the little smiley face guy is on both sides. There's one there, one there. Around bottom, you have your USB-C cable and then threading for mounting options. Uh, this is actually a fairly hefty mic. I'm kind of surprised that it was that it's uh, 
that it's that heavy. So let's keep them cruising. We have our desk clamp. I will save the bubble wrap because I use that to ship things. <laughs> so here's the desk clamp. Just uh, this part is actually a decent quality is uh, metal of some sort. Um, the knob right here feels like easily breakable plastic. This is obviously metal also. And then there is a little rubber foot there. Um, yeah, you can see. There's a little rubber foot there uh, for mounting on your desk. And just judging by the Velcro I see there, I'm guessing these are your USB-C cables. Uh, yeah, both of them are USB-C to USB-A. So there's USB-A side and USB-C side. And it looks like they actually mounted, or they labeled them, which is awesome. That is way awesome, so you know which was which. So this one is for the shock mount, to plug in the shock mount, which the plug... Oh, right there. Right on the bottom there, there is your USB-C for the RGB function on the bottom side of the shock mount. And then this one for data transfer. So this one is gonna go into uh, that slot right there. What I'm gonna do is I am going to hook this up to something and um, we're gonna listen to some audio. We're back, I got everything all set up and, and I'm gonna move this down just a little bit. So I got everything set up and uh, I got the, the boom arm set up. I got this all attached to the boom arm uh, like so. And it's, it is, it's, it's about what I expect. One thing that I can uh, tell you about the boom arm, and I hope I didn't jack up your ears when I did that, is if you listen, it's silent. And that's fantastic. I've seen other boom arms, the springs make uh, like a popping and a creaking sound. And this one doesn't seem to do that. Granted, I just took it out of the box. So I don't know if maybe over time when them springs wear in, if it will start making noise. But uh, just something to be aware of right off the bat. I'm, I'm not noticing anything like that. Um, the fasteners that tighten up everything on this boom arm... They are made out of cheap plastic. Eventually, they will break if you mess with them enough. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Shock mount and the mic itself, they seem to be pretty solid. This mic, actually, I don't know how well you could see it, but right down here, it actually screws into the shock mount. I don't... I see the shock mount breaking before your mic falls out of it, right? Um, I don't... I don't see that happening either, though, if 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 you know what I mean. Uh, it seems to be fairly well made. Let's kind of move on to um, probably what you're staring at right now anyways, and it's going to be those RGB lights uh, on the bottom of, of the shock mount here. And this is a thing where you don't necessarily need them to be on for the mic to work it's just kind of an added bonus so if you don't want to hook up this other usb cable here that is actually hooked up right here on the bottom uh you don't have to and just the the lights on this guy won't work uh, but on the top which you can't see but right on the opposite side of where the USB C cable plugs in there is a button here and that button actually controls the different colors uh, that you can use. There isn't any software that I could tell uh, that will allow you to control the uh, the colors and kind of fine tune them a little bit better. It's kind of just what's there is what you get. It does go through a handful of colors and then it does the, the rainbow effect there too. So moving on, uh, Remember when I did the little bit of the unboxing, there were two little smiley faces that I don't think you're going to be able to see. Yeah, you see it right there? I'm probably probably pretty quiet right now, but you see kind of just a little bit right there. Okay, when that guy is white, it's telling you that your mic is working. When it is red... The mute button, the touch mute button on the side, all I did was I barely, barely tapped it. So it's not really going to be a mic that you can grab and hold because there is 
that if you touch it, it's going to put your mic on mute, which is great if you need to do something real quick, throw your mic on mute and then come back and you don't want anybody to hear you clicking, you know, your mute button. Moving on, this is how this mic sounds without a pop filter. And I hope I'm not, I hope I'm not blowing up your ears when I, when I uh, hit those pop sounds. Uh, but this is how it's shipped. This is how it comes. So this is how I'm reviewing it. Um, this is how the mic is supposed to sit. It's a top address microphone. And I want to say they want you to use this mic within like five to seven or eight inches, something like that from your mouth. So this right here, how I have it right here is about the way that they're going to want you to use it just so that you can get the best auto audio quality out of the microphone. Now, obviously, if you go a little bit farther away, I didn't raise my voice or anything. I just moved the mic and you could probably tell a difference uh, between this and this because, well, the mic is closer and that's not specific to this mic in general. That's all mics. The closer you get the mic, the better it's going to sound. The farther away, it's going to sound a little bit more echoey, a little bit more tinny, especially if your room isn't sound treated and this room is not. Now, if you were buying like a $2,000 microphone, then yeah, you probably have a treated studio area and it's going to sound a hell of a lot better than this space does right here. But I don't have that and I don't need that. And I think the majority of people that are going to be buying a mic like this are going to be the same way. They don't have all that crap because they don't need all that crap. I think you have a pretty good representation of what the audio out of this mic will sound like. I don't know that I will continue to use the RGB uh, functionality of this, but that's okay because I don't need to. Uh, let's go ahead and I, I'm sorry if I kill your ears. There. So what I did was I unplugged the RGB. So now it's off. You should still be able to hear me just fine because the mic has a separate USB um, cable to that pl that's plugged into my computer. Everything seems about as solid as you would expect it to. I mean, it is a full kit. This is something that you can just take. Literally, you don't have to buy anything else. You could take everything out of the box I didn't get anything special. This wasn't a special anything for me. This is just the way it is when you buy it off Amazon. So you take everything out of the box, you set it up, you connect it to your desk, the, the shock mount, or not the shock mount, the boom arm. Uh, you connect that to your desk, you get it all set up, you plug it in, you fire up whatever audio recorder you have, and boom, you're ready to roll. I mean, it's there's nothing else you have to do. You don't have to buy any special adapters. You don't have to buy the shock mount. You may want to buy, I don't know how the pops sound, but you might want to buy a little foam. And I, I thought I had one. It's literally just a foam. Ah, right there. It's a foam that you just slip over top. And I'm not going to do it because it'll check up your guys' hearing. But literally just foam, you slip over top of it and it'll act as a little pop filter. I think this would be a, a a great place to start, at least, if you're thinking about doing a podcast or if you want to get into uh, game streaming or any kind of streaming. The only thing I kind of don't like is it doesn't have a built-in monitoring solution. I can't plug my headphones into the mic to monitor my audio that way. I'm sure I could plug my headphones into my computer and monitor audio that way. Uh, it probably is just fine, but I would like it. I mean, everything else is all in one. Uh, you, you got your boom arm, you have shock mount, you have your mic, you, they gave you all the cables you need. So I would like to see um, maybe in a next iteration or anything like that, an upgrade update. Uh, I would like to see somewhere where I could plug in some headphones into the mic and monitor my audio that way. I mean, if we're getting an all-in-one type solution here, maybe it's it's a possibility, maybe it's something they can do. I have seen other mics that have that ability to plug in headphones and monitor your audio, so other USB mics. So maybe it's something they can do here, uh, maybe next generation or something, I don't know. Uh, but as far as anything like that, or as, as far as anything else, uh, that's really my only thoughts. It seems like a solid mic. Uh, I like the touch con uh, functionality for the mute button. Everything seems to be pretty solid. Hopefully the audio doesn't let me down. Thank you guys for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. And I will, oh, this sounds so awesome to say, but I will see you in the next one. Later.